Have you ever wondered what happens when a venomous snake bites an animal? It's a question that might seem terrifying to some, but also intriguing to others. The world of venomous snakes is as fascinating as it is deadly. There are several types of venomous snakes, each with their own unique hunting methods and venom compositions. For instance, the King Cobra, one of the world's most venomous snakes, is known for its impressive size and deadly neurotoxic venom. On the other hand, the vipers, a large family of venomous snakes, are notorious for their long hinged fangs and hemotoxic venom, which affects the blood and tissue of its victims. But how does a venomous snake bite occur? Well, it's a swift and calculated process. When a snake decides to strike, it does so with precision and speed. The fangs, which are essentially long, hollow teeth, sink into the flesh of the prey. Then comes the venom injection. This is where the real danger lies. Through the fangs, the snake releases its venom, a complex cocktail of proteins and enzymes designed to immobilize and eventually kill the prey. The venom travels through the bloodstream, wreaking havoc on the body's normal functions. Depending upon the type of venom, the effects can range from paralysis, blood clotting, tissue damage, to severe pain and swelling. It's important to remember that venomous snakes don't bite out of malice or for the thrill. It's purely a survival mechanism. They bite to defend themselves or to catch their next meal. Each bite is a precious resource as it takes time and energy for the snake to replenish its venom supply. So the next time you imagine a venomous snake bite, don't just think of it as a simple puncture wound. Instead, picture it as the start of a deadly race against time. A race where the stakes are life and death, and every second counts. A venomous snake bite is not just a simple puncture wound, it's the start of a deadly race against time. So, the venom is in the bloodstream, but what happens next? This is where the true battle begins. The venom, now coursing through the veins, starts to wreak havoc. The first signs are often immediate and distressingly apparent. Pain surges at the bite site, a cruel reminder of the encounter, but it doesn't stop there. The area begins to swell, the body's desperate attempt to contain the venom, yet like a river breaking its banks, the venom seeps further, infiltrating the rest of the body. As the venom travels, it targets the body's systems like a silent assassin. The nervous system, the body's communication network, is often the first to be hit. It's like a sudden storm disrupting the radio signals, causing chaos and confusion. The venom interferes with the nerves, causing symptoms that range from mild tingling to severe muscle paralysis. Then comes the cardiovascular system. This is where the venom can become a real game changer. It's like a saboteur in the engine room, causing pumps to malfunction and pipes to leak. The heart may start to beat irregularly, too fast or too slow. Blood pressure can plummet, making the victim feel dizzy, faint or even leading to a total cardiovascular collapse. In its path, the venom can also cause systemic effects. These can range from nausea and vomiting to difficulty breathing or even altered levels of consciousness. It's a grim symphony of distress signals all caused by the venom's relentless onslaught. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. Different venoms have different effects, and the body's response can also vary. It's a race against time, a struggle between the venom's destructive power and the body's will to survive. As the venom spreads, the animal's life hangs in the balance. The clock is ticking, and every second counts. The race has begun, and the stakes couldn't be higher. But all hope is not lost. Nature has its own ways of dealing with venom. When a venomous snake bites, it's not always the end of the road for the unfortunate recipient. Nature, in its infinite wisdom, has equipped many animals with an arsenal of defenses against venom. These defenses range from physiological responses to immune responses, and they are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. Let's start with physiological responses. Some animals have evolved physical traits that help them resist venom. For instance, the thick fur of certain mammals can prevent the snake's fangs from reaching the skin, while the scales of reptiles can act as a shield. There are also animals with highly specialized blood cells that can neutralize venom on contact. Moving on to immune responses, many animals have developed a kind of natural antivenom. This is an immune response where the body produces antibodies that can bind to the venom's toxins, effectively neutralizing them. 
This is not an instant process, but rather a race against time, as the body struggles to produce enough antibodies before the venom can cause irreversible damage. The animal's body also has a third line of defense, metabolism. Some animals can metabolize venom faster than others, reducing the amount of time the venom has to cause harm. This metabolic process, however, is not without its drawbacks. It puts a significant strain on the body's resources and can lead to exhaustion if the venom dose is too high. And then there's antivenom, nature's trump card. Antivenom is a substance that can neutralize venom and it's produced by certain animals that have developed a high resistance to venom. This resistance is usually the result of a long evolutionary process during which the animal has been exposed to venom repeatedly and has gradually built up a tolerance. Even in the face of such danger, the animal's body fights back. Nature's defense mechanisms are a vivid reminder of the resilience of life and a testament to the fact that even in the most dire of circumstances, there's always a chance for survival. The battle is over. What's left in the wake of a venomous snake bite? In the aftermath of such an encounter, the landscape of life for the victim can be dramatically altered. The venom from a snake bite, which is a complex cocktail of proteins and enzymes, has the power to wreak havoc on the body. Whether the victim is a small rodent, a larger mammal or even a fellow reptile, the effects can be devastating and long-lasting. Initially, the venom targets the nervous system, causing paralysis and pain. But the damage doesn't stop there. It can also cause significant tissue damage around the bite area. In some cases, this can lead to permanent disability, as the muscles and nerves may never fully recover. Imagine a squirrel, once agile and quick, now struggling to climb trees because of a weakened limb, or a deer, known for its speed, now limping along, its pace forever slowed. But it's not all doom and gloom. Nature is a testament to resilience and survival. Depending on the species and the amount of venom received, some animals have a fighting chance of survival. With time, the body can metabolize the venom, reducing its harmful effects. The animal may be able to recover, though it may carry the scars of its encounter for the rest of its life. And what about the snake, the perpetrator of this venomous attack? Well, it too pays a price. Producing venom is energy intensive and can take a toll on the snake. It needs time to recover and replenish its venom supply, leaving it vulnerable in the face of its own predators. The aftermath of a venomous snake bite is a stark reminder of the harsh realities of nature. But it's also a testament to the incredible resilience of life, the capacity for survival and the intricate balance that exists in the natural world. A venomous snake bite is a life-changing event with effects that can last long after the bite itself. So, what can we learn from this deadly dance between venomous snakes and their prey? Well, first off, it's a stark reminder of the raw, untamed power of nature. Every creature, every being plays a role in the grand theater of life, and venomous snakes are no exception. Their venom, while lethal, is not just a tool for hunting or self-defense. It's a complex concoction of proteins and enzymes, a marvel of evolution that has taken millions of years to perfect. Understanding these creatures and the effects of their venom on different animals is crucial not just for our own safety, but also for the health of the ecosystems they inhabit. As apex predators, snakes control the population of other animals, maintaining a delicate balance that, if disrupted, could have far-reaching consequences. But there's more to this story than just survival of the fittest. The venom of these serpents is a treasure trove for medical research. It contains compounds that have the potential to treat a range of diseases, from heart conditions to cancer. By studying venomous snakes, we're not just learning about them, we're also unlocking new possibilities for human health. Yet despite their importance, many species of venomous snakes are threatened by habitat destruction and human conflict. Conservation efforts are essential to protect these creatures and the valuable role they play in our world. These efforts aren't just about preserving biodiversity, they're also about safeguarding the health of our planet and our own species. In the end, venomous snakes are not just deadly predators, but also an important part of our natural world. 
They remind us of nature's power and complexity, and they offer us the chance to learn, to grow, and to discover. So let's respect them, protect them, and learn from them, for they have much to teach us. In the end, venomous snakes are not just deadly predators, but also an important part of our natural world.